Okay, all right, guys, uh, quickly. Very short session, but I'm hoping. Slides, like I said earlier on, please let slides. But for me, quickly. Find this Euclidean very, very interesting. Like I said, a couple of questions. Yeah, but you tell me what, oh. Yeah. So I'm waiting for your slides, Kuvadia, Simanke. I know you did send me some new slides that were difficult. Please kindly resend. Um, Slide 12. Okay, Kuvadia's like that from yours. Slide. Okay, so this is yours. Right. Guys, I'm focusing on what you requested before I do what I feel. In the diagram, PQRS is a quadrilateral with diagonals, PR and QS joint. Remember, what you need to do is to make sure you. R and QS drawn, all right? W, a point on PS, let's find it, all right? Uh, WT is parallel to PQ, okay, we see parallel to PQ. When you do that, you are familiarizing yourself with the question, quick, all right? And WV, is parallel now guys once you get to this question and you start seeing parallel lines you know we are working with what what you are looking for is you're looking for triangle with parallel lines there's nothing else to do nothing else all right pw ratio pws is three ratio two now watch this PW ratio W there are different ways of writing this. An examiner can say PWS is three over two. An examiner can say two PW is three. They are saying the same thing. An examiner can do this. Your job is to be able to rewrite it as that. Examiners can say all those things. Your job is to make sure you rewrite it as a ratio or you rewrite it as this. What do you do here? Bring the numbers to one side. It's a three here. With Take the PW to the other side. It's going to divide. Check. You are back here. Same thing here. Move this WS back here and it will divide. So that is very important. Now, PW over WS, please use X and WS is 2X. Okay. Now write down the value of the following ratios STTQ. Let's go. ST, uh, where is ST? ST, look, the examiners are not mad. They're not crazy. They will not give you something out of the Check here. You see, once I draw this ST, I'm seeing a parallel line. My next thought is there must be another parallel. ST, TQ. One is done. So I'll say ST over TQ equals to SW over WP. What's your reason? Prop what? Theorem. And you must tell us the lines that are parallel. WT is parallel to what? PQ. ST over TQ. SW. SW is 2X over WP. So our answer is what? 2 over 3. We're done. Two marks. One there, one there. SV over VR. Now, whatever you find, try as much as possible to write it. I'll call this 2y 
and I'll call this 3Y. SV over VR, where is SV? Let's trace it. SV, SV. Look, immediately I draw this SV, check. I'm looking at point V. I notice there's a parallel line. Where is this line parallel to? Parallel to that. Take note, SV over VR will be equal to what? SW over WP. Then again there, another two marks in the back. SV R will also be equal to SW. And if you like, you can even tell the examiner the triangles that you are using. First one, what triangle did I use? SQP, triangle SQP. And what triangle am I using? S, uh, SVVR, SVVR, SRP. Make sure the triangle, make it easier for the guy who's marking. What's your reason? Prop what? Theorem. And which lines are parallel? WV, parallel to what? RP. Again, what is SW? SW is what? Two. But, okay, here, because you've used prop theorem before, they're giving you one mark. Can I come here and say 2K over what? 3K. Prove that T1 equals to Q1. T1. That it is equal to Q1. That T1. Now, if you notice, actually forms a corresponding angle. That's what I see quickly. But I cannot prove that those lines are equal until I prove that these lines are parallel. And watch, it's four marks, beautiful. If this line, let, let me make the green bold line is parallel to this line, watch the ratio. It means SW, sorry, ST over TQ should be SV over VR. Remember, we are saying prove that T1. So I went to check my T1 and I went to check my Q1. I see that it looks like something that has to do with the corresponding angle. But I cannot prove those corresponding until I prove that these two lines are parallel. My job is to prove that. And I know that if these two lines are parallel, then ST over TQ must be equal to SV over VR. ST. 2y. What is TQ? 3y. What is SV? 2k. What is that? 2, 3k. Check. Ta, 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 ta. 2 over 3, 2 over 3. Oh, this proportion are equal. Let me write out your answer for you. Over there, are you seeing where I'm going? I'm going to use Okay. So, ST over TQ is equal, write it out for them, SV over VR, both of them, ST over TQ equals to SV over VR. Therefore, TV is parallel to what? QR. What's your reason? Converse of what? Proportionality theorem. Therefore, T1 equals to Q1. What angles? TV is parallel to QR. We are done. Are we okay? Please give me a thumbs up if you're okay, guys. Let me know. Complete the following statement. Triangle VWS. Your job again is to trace that triangle. All right. VWS. Okay. V. 
AWS. Triangle. Don't forget that this, uh, is, is there a parallel line here? Yes. This, let me make it bold. This one here is parallel to this one. What can you tell me? This angle must be equal to this. Right? So I know that is R already. Starting from V. What's the next angle? W. W must be equal to P. S is a common angle. We are done there. One mark. Now determine, okay, let me use um, a single double dot here and a double. Determine WV ratio R. Where is WV? Guys, remember what I told you. Anytime you have to work with the base of triangles, what do you prove? You prove what? Similarity. And this examiner is actually kind. They've actually told you to prove that similarity. Anytime you prove similarity, write out your ratios. So we prove VWS is similar to what? RPS. What's our ratio? VW over RP equals to WS over PS equals to VS over RS. What's your reason? Similar triangles. What are we looking for? WV and PR. W and PR. Oh, that's what we are looking for. Do we know WS? Yes, it's 2X. Do we know PS? 5X. So what's our answer? 2 over 5. We are done there. Question done. So what if I were to say converse of corresponding angles? Uh, no. No. There's nothing like, uh, let me see. No, not converse of corresponding Because they didn't tell you that T1 is equal to Q1. All right? You are proving that T1 is equal to Q1. They didn't tell you. They said you should prove it. Make sense? Ah. Is it making sense? Uh, who has the next question? Next question. Please throw in the... Samanki, I think you had a question to just send a message on which question quickly. I have about two questions I would like to do with you. While just type it here on the group chat. I have about two questions I quickly want to do with you. I sent it on your, let me see. I did send it over WhatsApp. While I'm waiting for what you feel was difficult. I am not logging in. Um, Samanke, question 10, slide number 18. Slide number 18. So, guys, I believe you've walked through these questions. That's what's making it easy, you know. Slide number and the question number tells me that you've gone through and this is the one you found. I just decided to do something and I have 13 people who are awake on eyes. I feel high. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at this question. Uh, who sent me this question? Revival. Sent me this question and yeah. Uh, last slide as well. Okay, so we're going to do question eight. This one I'm just going to explain to you. Um, I know that this question is a bit of a high order. Complete the following statement. If the, if the sides of two triangles are in proportion, then the triangles are what? Similar. That's just triangles are similar. This is your variety proof. Now, in the diagram below, K, M, and N respectively are points on the sides P, Q, P, R. Please read. Familiarize yourself with those points. K, P is 1,5. I'm checking quickly where my K, P is 1,5. P, M is 2. K, M is 2,5. M, N is 1. M, R is 1,25. And M, R is 0,75. Prove that this. Now, I know we are used to proving when we have angles. That one is easy. Mm -hmm. Now, there are no angles. Shortcuts. This is what I'm going to do. If these two triangles are similar, if triangle KPM is similar to triangle RNM, check, then KP over RN should be equal to PM over nm and that should be equal to km over rm now check what we are going to do let's go find kp over rn what is kp kp is 1,5 what is rn rn is 1.75 all right this is 2 let's go check the second one pm over nm have you found PM? What is NM? One. What is two over one? Two. Next, KM over what? RM. What is KM? KM is 2,5. What is RM? 1,25. That is also two. Do you see their whole idea? Since now check, I'll do this in the exam, then I'll say, oh, since KP over RN equals to PM over NM, which is equal to KM over RM, because I see that they are all equal to what? Equal to two. Therefore, triangle what? KPM is similar to triangle what? RNM. This is now going to be what? Converse. We are saying if they are similar we're going to get that now we are going the other way since they are equal they are similar that's what converse is simon k i hope you're good now that we have those triangles equal similar let's check the next thing i'm going to do quickly is make sure my angles are in place k p m k must be equal to r okay P, I'm using color codes. You know what I'm doing, right? The first one equals to the first, second one equals to the second. P must be equal to N, all right? And then M is common. Oh, the M in the first one must be equal to the M in the second one. Now, examiner is saying I should find the length of NQ. From nowhere, they just bring in NQ. Not a problem. Now, what comes to my head quickly is that if I can get the whole length here, then I should be able to whole length. Let's see something. Let's watch that. And in this triangle, what do you notice? Right? Again, red plus blue plus green. Check the color codes. Red, green, and 
look at the big triangle what do you notice i have a red i have a blue can i conclude that this therefore would be green angles in the triangle would give you what 180 that makes sense to you okay now i have shown that there are three similar triangles here all i need to do how would i then get qr i need to find a way of getting qr can i then say watch this p a m but note the color codes i used you know how to do right red blue must be similar to what i need to go with that color code again red Angle here, I'm using and the big triangle, right? Angle, angle, angle. Then write our ratios PK over PR, M over RQ equals to M over PQ. My main thing that I'm looking for. By no PK, yes, 1,5. By no PR, lovely, 3,5. Do I know KM, 2,5? Once I get RQ, I'll then say QN equals to what? RQ minus That makes sense to you guys let me know it's quite it's quite on the high order type of question but uh, yeah met is met what is the result that we should write for angle q being equal to angle m all right let me put down let me do the right up for you let me do the right up for you remember all you need to do is to say okay check um uh, triangle p k m and triangle q m p triangles right p is common to both triangles we can even use uh we can even use that other small triangle all right in fact let me change let me change sorry i want to use uh okay, triangle angle p plus angle m plus angle k equals to one that is, uh, that is sum of angles in a triangle, right? Then, which one is my red one? Angle N, all right, plus M, which is the green one, R is also equal to... Angle what? P. Angle Q plus. Take note. My R is the blue one. P is the red one. Right. Or another way is to use X, Y, and Z. Is that okay? That would be easier for you to present. X, all right.
one is z because they are equal I said P plus Q plus R. Right? But what is Y? Uh, what is R? R is Z, right? Now, look at triangle PKM. I think this is going to make a lot of sense. KM x plus y plus z. Z minus x and what is m so therefore angle q is that makes sense Let me know if it makes sense to you. And once we prove that those triangles are now similar, one second, guys. Okay, I'm going to go to the last slide now for Simon K. And so once you prove that Q equals to M, you can then do all your similarities. Uh, any question? All good. All right, the last one on this page. Last one on that page. Um, I'm sure I think it might, I think the last one is what's scaring you. And like I always do, it's just to show you the skill of getting these questions. Let me see, do I have any question on... Uh, no, I'm saying, but there's no calculus in paper two. Okay. All right, let's look at this one quickly. Complete the following theorem to make the statement true. If a line divides two triangle, if a line divides two sides of a triangle in the same proportion, then the line is parallel to the third side. A line divides two sides of a triangle in the same proportion, then the line is parallel to the third side. So this, that's proportionality theorem in words. Okay. Two circles with center P and S touch each other externally at C. SP produce intersect P at B, and A, a common tangent at R and Q meets SP produced at T. We have the diagram there. Proof that PQ, you know my statement. When they say proof that these two lines are parallel, what do we use? We use the if statement. So if PQ is parallel to that, then what should happen? I should be having fun angles. Guys, you are going to do the write up. Okay. They told me that's a tangent. Ooh, and I see a radius 90 and what? 90 either this 90 or q290 so 
I'd say Q1 is equal to 90. 10 perpendicular to radius. Angle R is equal to 90. 10 perpendicular to radius. Angle Q1 is equal to angle R. Therefore, PQ is parallel to SR. What would that be? Converse of, I am now using corresponding, right? Corresponding angle. Somebody else could use converse of co-interior. For me to use converse of co-interior, I will then, this is, uh, yeah, I will then use Q2 to give me 180. All right. Prove that TB, TP over Q, guys, I wanted to watch. It's the approach to these questions. TP, go and find those lines. Examiner says TP, okay, QR, all right, okay. Then TQ, where is TQ? Already, can you see, can you see something there? Do you see I'm already completing the triangle? Automatically, I am working with proportion. Ready, these two lines are parallel. I am already the question somebody is saying, but how do I get BP plus SR? Let's go check BP plus SR. BP, they are just playing with us here. I already see. Are you aware that this BP is the same as PC? Radius, radius. And SR is the same as CS? Does that make sense to you? Let's quickly write that out for you to see. BP is equal to PC, radii. Uh, CS is equal to SR, radii. Which simply means when the examiner says BP plus SR, they are simply saying this one plus that. Do you see I've completed my triangle? I have completed my triangle. So I will then say what TQ for QR is equal to what TP for what PS. What's your reason? Prop what? Theorem. And which lines are parallel? PQ parallel to what? SR. It's all about, guys, work from the question. Is that okay? Work from the question. All right, TPQR. If I like, I can cross multiply so that my TP comes there. Would be equal to what? TQ multiplied by what? PS. TP is TQ. What is PS? Check the line PS. Do you notice PS is PC plus CS over? I'm dividing by QR. But I know that PC is equal to BP ever. Plus, what is CS? CS is SR over QR. Check how swift and easy maths can be. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you're okay with this. Start from the answer, please. Start from the answer and work backwards. See the answer they give you. Find those lines. Find a connection between them. Name your lines. Radius, radius, before you even start. Whatever you see that is equal, write them down. Already in this, I should have written this. BP is equal to PC and that is equal to PQ. Here, CS equals what? SR already. Look at 10.2.3. Uh, you know that's, that's something we enjoy doing here now. Proving what? Similarity. That we enjoy doing. And how do you do that? Make a list. Please, if you can do what I am doing, you would enjoy it. RS. Let's go check TQP. Let's find it. Let me highlight it for you. T, T, make a list of the angles in order. It is T, Q1, it is P1. Now, TRS, it is T, R, 
<laughs> Check already. We are done here. Come on. We already know Q1. Both of them are equal to 90. That has been proven. Ah, do we need, are we stressing here? No. Third word, angle. Therefore, triangle TQP is similar to triangle TRS. What's your reason? Angle, angle, angle. Boom. Case closed. Case closed. I know that what really scares you here is 10.2.4. Let's see how I'm going to approach it. Study the question. Hmm. T, woo, T S squared minus C S squared. Guys, let's go find what T where T S squared is first. Where is T S? T S and C S. Okay. Ah. In my notes that you guys have, for those of you that have my notes, when you see squared. I said, think similarity and think Pythagoras. Okay. I see a 90 degrees here. So I am going to think Pythagoras. Now, check this. I'm going to think that's the only place I'll be able to get TS squared. Pythagoras, we're going to walk through side by side. TS squared is, that's a hypotenuse, right? Is equal to what? TR squared plus um, SR squared. <laughs> I'm seeing something. I'm already done. SR is equal to CS. Don't forget. Check. TS squared, therefore, is TR squared plus CS squared. Ooh, lovely. TS squared minus CS squared equals to tr squared can i square root both sides check tr is equal to the square root of what ts squared my left hand side is already done and i see that my left hand side is equal to tr c square think pythagoras especially if the angle now is a 90 degrees can you see how swiftly i've done my left hand side Already, I know that examiner is working with the right hand side. Do you know what it means? Check. It simply means look at this. <laughs> TR must therefore be, this is beautiful, must be equal to this whole square root. Check. CS over what? BP. Whatever is in that square root. We're going to go to that square root. But that square root, I already see something there. I see that that square root is cosine root. I don't know if you see it. That square root is cosine root. But how do I find out which triangle the examiner is using? Look, examiner must have multiple. It's TR and BP. Let's go find the question. They give you the question, use it. All right? Um, TR, we have TR. R, B, P. So find those lines for me. If you can find those lines, we would be done. R, B, P. Okay. Uh, T, R, B, P, A. And then the C, S. Okay, this examiner is just playing game. However, what cosine rule is that? What are they doing? And BP squared. By the way, they are using ah, okay. clever, clever examiner. Guys, let's quickly debunk this cosine rule. Uh, let me write it out for in case it's too small. They wrote TP squared plus BP squared minus 2TP plus C. Let's find which triangle. Examiner is saying, no, sorry, cos S. Now, so examiner is working with this. 
So if I am working with this, I should actually be working with, if you understand your cosine rule, I should be working with this side and this side. But okay, cosine rule. I should be using TR. I should be using. Oh, sweet. Get that angle S is equal to angle PY. I see the examiner is working around what? TB. Guys, let us write the cosine rule for just using this S to disguise and confuse us. So, cosine rule. Because I know that definitely that's cosine rule, right? Okay. So, what is cosine rule? Consider triangle T, P, Q. Let's work with cosine rule. T, Q squared. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. We want, wait, I'm making a mistake. We want TR. We want TR. Sorry. We want TR. So, we shouldn't be working. already we said the left hand side is tr so let's work r s okay and r squared equal to all right since i'm using cosine rule s squared plus the other side s r squared S, S, R, cos what? S. But we want right. We want TP. Okay, let's see. We want TP and BP. Okay, let me go and write something out on the other side. Let me write TQ squared. We're going to see what the examiner is up to. TP squared plus pq squared all right i'm using the small triangle now right minus 2tp pq cos what p i hope triangle what tqp zoom this question in you'll be able to see what i'm doing better all right oh sweet sweet tp squared i have the examiner wanted bp but i have pq but PQ is equal to BP. So I have this already. Lovely. Uh, BP, because it's a radius. Radar here. Minus 2TP, BP. But angle P is equal to angle S. Ooh, I got that. I got everything I wanted. And, but that is equal to what? T Q squared. That is equal to T. Right. Okay. So already we have T Q squared. Guys, are you with me? Are you following? I know it's six marks, so it's the last question in the paper. <laughs> it always. Now that I have my T Q squared, all right, how do I then connect? Uh, let's bring in all the other sides because we're only working with the cosine rule. What is CS and BP? CS and BP. Or two. Uh, let's see. All right, so I know. Okay, fine. What is my TQ? My TQ, square root of what? TP squared, BP squared, which is what I have there. All right, I see. So this is what the examiner has. The examiner has TQ here. They have S here. They have BP here. And we said, if you remember, this must be equal. Can we go prove that now? TR, TR, BP. Okay. And TQ. Uh, we are going to have to work with either similarity or proportionality.
TR. I just want to trace my angles, my lines again. TR, all right, BP. Are you seeing that? I'm painting it in black. Then I want what? TQ and CS. But don't forget that CS is equal to what? S. Either we use proportionality or we use similarity. Let's see. If we try proportionality, will it work? Work. Because I want CS. No. Uh, would it work? Yes, it could work. TQ over TR. Are you with me there? TQ the top part over TR should be equal to what? TP the wrong way. I am going the wrong way because I should be getting CS. I want CS, which is... Oh, I see. I see, guys. Check it. CS is the same as this. Ah, This week examiner is very wicked. CS is the same as SR right and bp is the same as pq similarity they are working with the basis they are working with the basis i am i see where we are going all right let's move this up complex you got to rework this quickly guys again and try to see all right so i see that the exist working through the basis of this triangle. What's wrong with my board now? All right. Angle T is common, right? Angle P1 equals to S1. Uh, corresponding what? Angle. And we have already proven that Q1 equals to R1. Therefore, triangle TPQ is similar to triangle TRS. So, angle, angle, angle. TP over TR equals to PQ over RS equals to TQ over TS. Where I'm going? TP over TR, PQ over RS, and TQ over what? TS. But RS is the same as CS, so I'm going to change that. And B, uh, QP is the same as BP. Check. I'm going to change that. I want TR. So what do I have? Oof, this is... Add house question. TP over TR is equal to what? I want TR. Let's cross multiply. TR multiplied by BP equals to what? TP. What is TR? It is TP divided by CS over what? Uh, did I do something wrong? Because I'm supposed to. What was our, what was our cosine rule? Our cosine rule is what? T. Why do I have TP? Did I make a mistake? Wait. TQ. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Sorry, my bad. I want to fix this. The order, guys. I'm glad I'm making that mistake. The order is important. TQP is similar to what? Oh, it's already given in 10.2.3. Ah. R equals to um, TQ over TR, QP over RS from question 2.3 there. TP over what? TS. Makes sense. All right. So it's TQ over TR. Done. Right, so that I made a mistake with that P, it should have been Q. I made it with that P, and check, we have our TQ. That's our. If I bring that there, do you notice it's exactly what we have? Plus, I know my TR. Wow, this is more than six marks. 
my TR to be TS squared minus CS squared. So I'm done. This is crazy. My TR is TX, TS squared minus CS squared. And my TR is this entire thing here. But I already know my TQ. Quite complex. But uh, it is what it is. Question done. Question is done. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. It requires your yo. It is. It is quite um, a hectic one. Okay, but at least, guys, um, look. The skill I'm going to te I'm teaching you here is use the exam exam question to find your way. I saw something cosine rule. So I had to go look for my cosine rule. I saw something with a square root. I had to go do Pythagoras. Is that okay? So please, you, you need to just find a way. I know, look, it can be challenging. I'm not saying it's going to be a walk in the park. Right. Oratile, are you expecting me to do all of this question four that you sent? Why are you just sending it now? I sent information in the morning that that thing should be done. All right, guys. Um, I want to quickly draw one question. Look at this one here. I'm going to do two of my own questions that I encountered today. Make it bigger. On these questions today, quite interesting. And I figured that this is something that you and I need to expose ourselves to quickly. Don't be discouraged by that other one, please. Uh, AD, 12 there, E here. Eight here, C here. F, guys, I only have about 30 minutes more. Uh, okay, check. That's the diagram we have. And we are told that um, AD over AF is equal to 3 over 5. Okay, the rest of the information is given number one prove that parallel to fc and number two uh, what i wanted no this is calculate bf not the one i really wanted prove that de is parallel to fc DE is parallel to FC. Now, remember, uh, what's the mark allocation here? It's three. This is not the one I really wanted, but let's run through. Proof that DE is parallel to FC. You are going to make your statement to say, look, if these two are parallel, right, then what? All right? If these two are parallel, then what? So please consider this triangle now. Let's consider this yellow triangle because that's where my parallel lines fall. Does that make sense? It therefore means that what? AD over DF should be equal to what? AE over EC. If I can prove that these two are equal, then these lines are parallel. Oh, they gave me a ratio. AD over AF is 3 ratio 5. AD, 3K over what? AF, 5K. Ah, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Let's go prove. I don't know if you've seen your answer already. That's why I said, guys, 
learn to just work with what the examiner gives you. They always give you a question and hang themselves. I promise you. They hang themselves nicely if you can see it. Let's just prove all of these other big triangles is just nonsense. Let's just prove this yellow one. Okay. So I would then say, remember they are not parallel. I would then say, okay, what is AD over AF? AD over AF will be 3K over what? 5K. And that is 3 over 5. What is AE over AC? Because I'm moving the whole length now. What is AE? 12. What is AC? 20. Divided by 12 divided by 4, 3. Oh, since AD over AF is equal to AE over AC, which is 3 over 5. Therefore, DE is parallel to FC. And of prop what? Check. We are done there. Three marks in the bag. Three sweet, sweet marks in the, in the bag. Sorry, Kuvadia, your brain is sore. I know that question could make your brain sore. Guys, I'll just do one more for you and then. Um, calculate AB. No, calculate BF. I'm sure you can do that. AB. Where's AB? the big triangle and use f b is equal to 14 work with what you are given b f over a Work the same way. East Poland, AC. Up what? Theorem. Guys? Just to do this one. This is a common one. Very, very interesting. I need this information. Information we are given is a stars. Da, 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 da. Five AE FG over FB equals to five. That's the information, and here is the question. One, find the value of AF. Please don't. Please bear with me. I know it's late. All right. Examiner has given me this stuff here. We discussed this earlier on. We bring the numbers to one side. That four, when it comes over here, it will divide. There's EB left. AE, when it goes there, it will divide. So EB over AE. EB over AE. 5K of, we can use letters, 5A, um, AE, 4A. You can just work ABC, you know? All right. 
Then we are given FG over FB, 5 over 8. FG, 5B over what? FB, the whole length, 8. So can I say this is 3B? I hope you know how I got my 3. Right? Everybody good there? That's the first thing. Uh, sorry, I cannot really do tricks, guys. Um, it's hectic. Guys, please use the videos I have. Those of you on YouTube, it's very late already. Um, I did the whole of tricks already. Please use the morning um, cockroach session. Everything was done. I can't do it. AF over AC. Okay. Look, AF, I'm for this over that. Just consider that big triangle already because once you trace the line and it stops on a parallel line, know that you're using proportionality. So AF over AC will be equal to what? AE, you see AF, the top, over AC, which is the whole thing. I'll also go top over the whole thing, AB. And what's its prop what? Theorem, EF is parallel to BC. Right. Uh, so therefore, AF over AC, do I know AE? Four. If I know AB, nine. We are done there. Two marks, one and two. Now let's get HF. This is where the interesting part is. I wanted to learn the concept that I, this is what F, which is in the middle there. Now, examiner wants me to find this middle part. With what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to get this and this. Please take note. Consider triangle. Do you see FH? Examiner says FH, right? Once you see, oh, it ends on a parallel line. Therefore, can you see my triangle? FBC. F, B, what do I know? FB, no, sorry, FG over GB, FH over HC. I want to show you where the juicy part is now. So, what is my FG? 5B. What is my GB? 3B, FH over HC. So, FH over HC is equal to 5 over 3. Now, this is where I want you to be careful. 5, I am going to use a different. Here is the thing. You cannot have multiple variables on one side. On, on this right hand side, that's going to give me a problem. Everything to one. How am I going to do that? This 5C is divided 5 to 3. We go back to grid A. FH, the total ratio is 8, but that's how we do ratios. That portion over the total. Now, but this
I could say 5C minus or I could use my ratio. It's three, eight, because the total length there. Am I looking for HF or what is now my HF? It's in terms divided by what is AF? Ah, thirty two. Please add everything into the Add everything to the same variable. That is important. Finally, on my side today. Finally, Oratile. I cannot do that whole list of questions, so you need to, cho to choose which one I'm doing. Okay, here I just want to guide you on something very important. The basic concept you and I need for tomorrow's paper. A. We have Q all right in the triangle we are given a Q which you that is your blah 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 so many information that BP Yeah, there are five questions, and I'll be dropping my pen. Area of triangle APC. ratios that have my note area ratios are there in the notes if you are looking for area ratios there are only three types that i am going to guide you with area ratios there are only three and i'll be all right let's see aq over qc let's run quickly one ratio three so i would say x ratio three x that is one to three p you know what this means now this means b b c k three y quickly what are we looking for b p over p s let's trace it trace guys tracing PS. Ah, look, once you trace it and it stops, then those skills, it will help you. So, what do I have? S would be equal to what? But wait, hold on. Ta, ta 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 I don't know PS. Oh, all right. I see. I do not know PS. Okay, so that means I'm looking at the wrong triangle. Uh, since I don't know PS, 
I should rather be looking at this triangle. The other side, I do know. Okay, so can I say AQ over QC? What's what? I'm looking for PS over what? SC. AP is parallel to QS. Uh, what is AQ? X. What is QC? X. PS over SC. So what does that tell us? PS over SC is what I told you. Once I am using a different ratio, I'm okay. And this is what? Uh, Okay, but don't leave it as different variables. Please look carefully again. We are repeating. Don't leave it as different. I must change that K. I must change that K to what? To Y. But I know that if this whole length is 3Y, and here is why it means this that into s it is one plus three The entire length is 2y. What is 2y minus 1 over 2? That would be what? 3. Everything now is in terms of y. I can now walk swiftly with p over ps. What is bp? y. What is ps? 1 over 2y. This is 1 divided by a half. Use your calculator. You get 2. R over QR. Uh, I think that one is straightforward. R over QR. We would need this ratio thing tomorrow. R over QR. R, check. Uh, triangle there. Pa. BR over QR is equal to what? A PS. What's your top theorem? PR is parallel. I'll be done just now, guys. I know BP. Y. What is my PS? Half Y. Same thing. We are done. All right. My main course of looking at this now, guys, as we finish up, is how to work with areas please how to work with area how to work with area it won't take us time number one please take note when you have a common angle use area equals to half a b sine c when you have a common base all heights you would see it there you have um base times height number three complex that is you don't see common angles you don't see that complex ratios are going to subtract triangles subtract areas we're going to work with this three and see which one the examiner is up to Let's take that out. Number one, area of APC. Please, if you don't see th these things, you can draw those triangles out for you to see clearly. APC, let's draw it. A there, P. In case it's all messed up and you want to be Hello? Yes.
Oh, what do you notice? C is common to both of them. Once I see that common angle, I know my formula. Half A, B. Sine what? C. Beautiful. So, um, area of triangle APC over area of triangle BQC. And watch this. When I say half A, B sine C, C is the included angle. So let's consider A, P, C. I'm using 1 over 2, that side, A, C, side, P, C, and sine C over 1 over 2. Again, C is common, so it's going to be what? Check. That's why you must use that. Do I know AC? Let's go back. AC is 4X. Do I know PC? Yes. PC is 2Y. They are all there on the left-hand side. Do I know QC? It must cancel out. Those variables must cancel out. What is BC? 3Y. My answer is 8 over 9. It well. Two, uh, we're looking at the second one, area of minus, it's on YouTube for those. A, B, C, I am going to quickly draw it out again. What APC? Mm. What angle? Beautiful. Half. It's ABC. I won't do it. one. AC B. Uh, half. APC. Right? Do you notice the only thing we are left with is what? B. I. What is PC? Done. My last question for the night. Pratile, you're not talking to me about that whole epistle you sent. Just whole lot of that something questions Marks. last one what are we looking for number five sc let's see the last one qsc right qsc which is uh ABP. Ooh. It. Nothing in common. Nothing in common. All right, now that we, we don't have common angle, we cannot work with number one. They don't have a common base. Okay, they have a common base, but the height is not the same. How <laughs> we are left with option three. Okay, five minutes with us. So let's, let's, let's see. I would have to, this is a complex ratio now. I have to subtract area. But how would I do that? All right, QSC, that one is fine. Uh, let's see. I am now looking for the area of this. What do you notice? Uh, do you notice that? Can I quickly work with that ABP alone? Area of ABP will be the big triangle 
area of triangle ABC, all right? Let me use a highlighter. I'll be done here now. The whole triangle minus this part. Does that make sense? I only want the white cross. So out of this, I see minus APC. Mm, mm, mm. Minus triangle APC. Right, guys. Angle C is common. A, B, C. I can say half. Angle C is common, right? C is common. So, A, C, B, minus, what about A, P, C? Half, A, C, A, C, sine C is common. At AC half sine C half AC sine C. What do I have? BC. What is this? Half AC sine C. Y. And what is PC? 2Y. Beautiful. What do I have? One. We are not done. I'm just doing this separately. I multiplied by Y. Awesome. Now, what is QSC? Area of triangle QSC. Since I see that angle C is still common, I am just duplicate. Up now and wake up tomorrow morning to watch. right cut it here cut it check now i can work out this to say half because i see that c is common sc sine c uh, half no 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 y sine c half what is qb What is SC? A half. What is AC? 4X. Guys, these things must cancel out. I sine C. That. 3 times 3. I have 9 over 2 divided. I am done. Learn the skills that I shared. I know it's fast. Guys, learn those skills I shared. Please. But all of tricks in the Cockro session. do have a playlist a cross session on youtube okay that you would have i am going to sign out guys it's about the skill that we are learning for Euclidean, work from there. For the tips, all right. 
ask you to find um, list all the angles. Every time you prove similarity, write your ratios. Squared, think ratios, find the angles that they exist.